This is Alicia Smith with Mental Sweet Spot. Welcome to Tip Tuesday. I'm here to talk to you about building self-confidence with your teams. One of the ways that you can help your team build self-confidence is to find articles online or read books together that talk about the mental part of the game. This is a great way for your team to relate to the mental part of the game as well as relate to each other and have these open conversations as a team. This should be built into your practice plan every single day. You can even develop notebooks so they can put this information in the notebook and have with them at all times. It's also a great way for them to have a place to write things down, write their thoughts and feelings down and help them work through some of the emotions that happen, especially during failure. You can also add drills into every practice for either offense or defense that add time and pressure. By working through these time and pressure drills, it helps them work through the emotions of failure as well. You can stop these drills at any time to talk to them about the feelings and emotions that they're having or the thoughts that are going through their head. Once you help work through these thoughts and emotions and feelings in practice, they start to become more efficient and better and more understanding of the mental part of the game. That definitely helps build their self-confidence.